Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, homemaking. Today we're doing my monthly reset routine, so that's homemaking I guess. I'm going to do this month a little bit differently because I have some projects that I've been procrastinating and I just want to do in this video. So this is how the video is going to go. We're going to do our recap, goal setting, monthly planning, and then three projects. I need to clean out our garage. Alex is going to help me with that tomorrow. I'm going to do our big monthly grocery shopping. I'll take you through that. I've done a video about it, but if you haven't seen that, then I will take you through the process. And then we're going to clean out my car. So those are the big projects. That's what this video is going to hold and not necessarily in that order. This is, I'm just... I'm just going to be filming this over the next few days, so we'll see what order I end up doing. However, first, we're going to do the recap, so let's get into this video. October was a crazy month for me. I talked about this last month, but September was super chill, and I was getting ready for a crazy month of October, and that's what it has been like. I've had lots of stress, eye twitching, and not good things, so that is not necessarily the best. I'm trying to calm down, but there's just a lot of things going on. Things that only happen once in a lifetime, like gender reveals and weddings and all that stuff. But to recap, I've done lots of fall activities this month, and that has been so fun getting in the fall spirit. This is my season, so I've loved that. I went on a work trip in the beginning of October. That was a content trip in an area of Tennessee that's about an hour and a half away. So we did a content trip out there. We're promoting tourism out there. I've also just been working a lot. Like I said, going to gender reveals, just one, one wedding. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is fill out this part of my planner. If you don't know, I have the Dream Daily Planner by Hannah Ashton. So I've used this for the last few months. So I have all of the monthly goals from last month and then there's a reflection page here. So I'm gonna fill that out and we're gonna talk about it. recap on this reflection the top section is core memories and I already told you those this month's wins is slowly but surely paying down our debt we're working on it enjoying fall seasonal activities obviously and taking Winston on more walks we've been going on walks maybe four to five times a week However, for my to improve for next month, I want to make those walks daily. So just a few more walks a week. I think that would be good for both of us. And he's trained to go on walks, but he does get crazy when there's other animals around or people. So we're still working on walking next to me and not being crazy. So one of the improvements. Another improvement is leaving space in my calendar not having to fill up every single day with something. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens. And then minister to my family every day. This just kind of means that obviously my family is my first ministry. Alec and 
wins in here. So I want to take care of them the best that I can. So just taking care of Winston, making sure he's getting his baths and hygiene things. And then for Alec, just helping him with things that he needs help with, taking care of him mainly in food, <laughs> making sure he has food, and also communicating with him better. So that is the monthly reflection. The next clip will be us cleaning out our garage. We're gonna do that tonight. So fast forward to tonight cleaning out our garage. It is now the evening <laughs> and we're gonna clean out our dreadful garage. We kind of clean it out every spring or fall, I guess, because it just gets nasty. So it's time. I'm gonna turn on Gracie. We at least can see the floor, people. It's definitely a garage because there's a bunch of random stuff in it, but the floor is visible and that's all that we wanted. Right, Winston? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna fill out the monthly goals page in my planner. As I explained in every monthly video, we have big goals, mini goals, action steps, projects, and habits. So I'm just gonna fill that out and explain what I wrote. going on here so the big goals is there's several house projects I've just kind of been procrastinating that I want to do paying down debt again and having space in my calendar just for existing and not having to do things so for the mini goals that are just breaking down these big goals I put we want to install hardwood floors in our upstairs hallway so that's a big project. We want to do something in our entryway and stairwell. I want to do, I think it's called the board and batten thing. I don't know. Or the wall molding. That's what it's called, wall molding. I'll put a picture so you know what I'm talking about. We want to do that and then we also want to paint our stairwell. I'd like to add pictures in there. So it's just something we've never really needed to do and I'd like to do it to make it look nicer. I'd like to start looking at a retirement of some sort. I just think that would be important for us to start putting money into. I put side hustles, just making more random money where I can. Car insurance, Alec is looking for a new car insurance. He already got a quote from one, but I want him to start looking at another one. Finished listing my clothes online. I have so many, so it's just been taking a while. And shorter to-do lists each day is my goal. It should not exceed the amount of spots that are in this planner for to-do items. I should not have a to-do list longer than that. So the action steps all are 
practical things I can do to reach these goals. So it's buy the hardwood supplies, buy the entryway supplies. I need our friend to come teach us how to install hardwood floor. We have to actually install it. We have to put up the wall molding, paint the entryway, research retirement options. I want to post on my photography page regularly to hopefully make money from there. My mom told me about a website I could look at to make money off of that and then list at least three clothing items a day because I think if I do that then I'll actually finish that project rather than just having to sit on my phone and do all of them. For the projects, these are all work related projects so I'm not going to share those with you. For the habits, I want to walk every day. We've already been walking, me and Winston, four to five times a week. So we're just going to bump that up to every day. Drink one full water bottle a day and then read a chapter a night is my habits. So I feel pretty good about this. I feel like I did a better job goal setting than I normally do. So we have a direction. That took longer than I thought, but it needed to be done. And then as I was getting it all clean, I spilled my Dutch Bros on the carpet. And this place obviously doesn't have a carpet cleaner, so good job, me. <laughs> I need to head to work now, but let's get back into this reset. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. I'm 9.45, so it's Halloween. Ignore my messy bun. It's a work from home day, so I can look like how I want. But we are gonna do the grocery shopping part of this video. So I always start by making my list. This is a little list I got from Target. So I just go through, see what we already have, and buy what we need. Typically we keep the same things stocked in our house at all times so I kind of know what is missing when I look at our pantry and such. So I'm going to make this list and then we'll start looking at where I'm going to buy it all from. <laughs> a horrible process that's why my bun is even more messed up because a bag of flour exploded I had to clean that up then I did the dishes and a glass broke inside the dishwasher and I'm just not having a good time so I finally made my list I'm going to go look at Kroger and Target to see if there's any coupons or deals. Sometimes things are cheaper at Target versus Kroger. And I also will go to a local market kind of store, corner store to get our produce. So I'm gonna go on my phone and look for coupons. 
real fast. Here is the grocery haul minus my ingredients for chili because I had to make that already. But this cost me, let's see, about $150-ish. So not too bad. Shopped all the sales, which was good. I'm going to put this away and then the next time you see me, we're going to do our monthly planning. So now that I finally finished all of the projects, all of the goal setting and recapping, we're going to do the monthly planning. So I'm going to go to November, looks like this, and the way this is set up is you write bills to pay, appointments to make, books, movies, TV, and notes on the bottom, then the side there's weekly to do items so you can split up your bigger goals into what you're going to do each week which is really cool so i am going to fill that out and talk you through it straightforward here. I have the bills to pay that is the same every reset so I'm not going to explain that. For appointments to make I decided to have it be a different meaning so I put friends I want to hang out with or just check up on this month so I wrote their names there. For books, movies, and TV I'm going to finish Gilmore Girls this month. I'm on season six so I'm almost there. I need to watch the new part of Emily in Paris. Oh, I didn't write the new part of Outer Banks because that comes out on the 7th. Crazy. I also want to watch the Wizards reboot. Wizards of Waverly Place reboot. I'm going to watch the Olivia Rodrigo's tour movie that came out. I'm reading currently The Midnight Library. I'm halfway done, so I'm going to finish that. I'm halfway done with the book Marketing Made Simple that I'm gonna finish. My book club book for this month is Never Split the Difference, so I need to read that. And then I do want to read another for fun book at some point during the fall, but I don't know what that's gonna be. I've been tossing around doing the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, which is the second book of the Pumpkin Spice Cafe series, so I may do that, we'll see. But, for our weekly to-dos, I have some fall bucket list things that I want to complete. Also, to-do list things. So, first full week of November, I'm going to drive through the mountains before the leaves fall completely. <laughs> Work on our entryway project, read, and then look at that website my mom told me about. The second week, I'm going to have a movie marathon day. Just all movies the whole day. <laughs> Work on our hardwood floor project, read, and then research our Roth IRA. Third week, I'm going to finish my fall playlist, drink some hot apple cider. I may do that before this week. I'm just putting it there. Finish listing my clothes online and read. And then the last week, we're having Friendsgiving. I'm going to read, obviously. Thanksgiving. And then I need to start Christmas shopping when the Black Friday deals go live online so that's my monthly planning